Thank you. Well, good evening. Welcome. Thank you for having me here this evening. My name is David McLean. I'm your vice mayor of the city of Margate. Served you for the past nine and a half years. Uh, prior to that, I served for six months as the youngest elected official in the city of Margate. I was 19 years old. Uh, I've been very involved in the city. My father was one of the first city commissioners when it was first uh, incepted back in the uh, 50s. And uh, my goal as a child was to be elected as the mayor of the city on the city's 50th anniversary. I didn't get to that goal, but I did become the vice mayor on the city's 50th anniversary. So it was a goal that uh, I had set as a child. I've been very involved in the city of Margate. If you look at my brochure on the back, it, it covers everything that I've done. My accomplishments, basically, uh, have everything that I set out to do 10 years ago, I have accomplished. There might be one or two things that we were unable to accomplish, but still striving to do. Um, the city of Margate's been is in financial great shape. Um, we've come a long way. The past few city managers have made sure of that. Um, presently, our new city manager is uh, looking into uh, the pensions and the insurance to bring that down. And uh, I think at this point, uh, the city's in great shape. Some of the questions that the chamber has asked, and it says, what makes you qualify to run for office? But first off, the uh, city of Margate, this is a turning point for the city. First time in Margate's history that we're having five commissioners up for re-election at one time. And I think the um, we have to go on uh, knowledge and what's going on in the city. I don't think it's a good thing to clean the clean the slate or wipe the slate clean. I think you need to have some some people that know know what's going on. So um, I, that's why I feel I'm qualified. How would you plan to balance the budget, the Margate budget, over the next two years? And in two years, do you uh, time frame what is, is able time frame? If not, why? Well, by law, you have to balance it every year. And we have been doing that by tightening our belts, doing without, um, having department heads do two jobs instead of one. Um, we are very frugal, frugal in the city of Margate, and we have definitely, definitely uh, tightened our belts. And that's how we plan on doing it. We have not laid anybody off, and we've still kept our services. Uh, okay. What would you do to work closer with the support that Margate Chamber of Commerce? Well, first of all, I think we work pretty close with them now. I think the relationship could be a lot better. Um, we all need to get on the same wavelength when it comes to uh, the CRA's uh, job, the Chamber of Commerce's job, and the city's job. Bottom line is we want to keep the businesses and bring businesses into the city of Margate. And by doing that, we need to work closer together. How are we going to do it? I think we need to have a better open door policy better communication. My feeling on a five-day work week in the city of Marty to change it or not, um, I like the five uh, the four-day work week we're doing now. We get a lot done. We have longer hours in the city. Uh, we have less uh, sick, sick people or uh, employees calling in sick. Um, it's better atmosphere. But the one thing I do agree that we need to look into possibly, and that is to open our building department five days a week. So I'm definitely forward looking into that. Um, what your, what is, what's your vision of making this a more business friendly community and name one specific change you would recommend? I, I definitely believe we need, we made that change and it's coming to a whole at this point. Our net economic uh, development um, department with uh, Ben Siskel is gonna be the key to doing this and he's already proven that by making the businesses feel welcome, letting them know what they have to do before they even start uh, going to the building department and going to City Hall. He's making it a real easy uh, program, and I think he's going to be our key guy to do this. Uh, <clears throat> should the building and license department be open five days a week? And like I said prior, yes, they should be. They should be open five days to uh, make it better. Time is money. Money's time for these builders, for permits. For businesses, this is something that needs to be looked at. I have 30 seconds left, and I'd like to just say to you that um, I'd like to keep on working for you, the residents and the businesses. We have a lot to accomplish. The one big thing that's uh, facing us is the Mar Margate Community Redevelopment Agency, and we are doing the right thing. We are on track. Other cities look at us and our community redevelopment, and they use us as an example. So if we would have built five years ago, we'd be sitting here with empty buildings right now, the way the economy is. So we are on the right track. 
and I'd like to have your support. I'd like David McLean, your vice mayor. Thank you.